everyone, this is Christina. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hope everyone is doing great. Um, we are baking this weekend a very special cake for a very special uh, person. It's a little boy's birthday. And his mum asked for a ladybug cake with Ben and Holly cartoons, Ben and Holly uh, fondant. Um, so I've never worked with fondant, uh, quite tricky and quite challenging. Uh, I managed to do the fondant uh, for, for the cake. Now I'm doing the sponges. The sponges are going to be very special. They are from a book, Magnolia's Kitchen's book. This book came from New Zealand last week. Um, the Magnolia's Kitchen is a lady called Bernadette and she, uh, she wrote this amazing book. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to do all her recipes. I'm doing her bean vanilla cake tonight. Tomorrow we're going to do her vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream and so on. Um, but yeah, show you the ingredients of this special ladybug cake quickly, guys. Okay, so these are the dry ingredients on here. Um, and I've added the butter to it. So it needs to look like breadcrumbs. It needs to look like this. Um, and now we are mixing the wet ingredients a bit before we start adding them in. fluffy as you can see I am very happy with the dough and we're gonna spread it evenly in between the three trays so one teaspoon in each okay okay so I had to change my trays because those were too tiny and there wasn't enough but now they're ready one, two, three, and they will go in the oven for 30 minutes. So obviously until golden brown, or insert a skewer and in the middle and the skewer comes out clean. Okay, so I'll show you um, I'll show you when they come out. Stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Christina here again. Welcome back to my kitchen. We are on day two of uh, making the ladybug cake for Frankie's birthday. And because we've used um, the recipe from uh, my new book, Magnolia's Kitchen, for the sponges, we're going to use another one of our recipes for the buttercream as well. <music> Hello everyone, good morning, Christina here, welcome back to my kitchen. This is the last day um, of our ladybug cake. So we will assemble the cake, uh, put it in the fridge so you can let the, let the buttercream set and then cover it with the lovely, lovely fondant. So shall we start quickly? Right, so I'll tell you a bit of a secret um, about the buttercream as well. Uh, I put it in the fridge last night after I made it and when I got it out this morning it was all curled up because of the butter so I put it on the hand mixer um, um, for about uh, five minutes on maximum speed and it's back to the beautiful soft fluffy uh, Swiss meringue buttercream we had last night yeah um, of course you need uh, a wheel for this because you need to cover up uh, cover up the upsides as well um, I'm gonna use a small um, a small stand for the cake because uh, it'll be uh, covered up with the fondant and then I'm gonna use as well a big one to place the cake and all the decorations on uh, I already covered it with fondant this morning so this is green fondant on top so uh, first thing as we always do, you will need an offset spatula, yeah, small one, and I got a big one for the edges, it would be easier. Um, and of course, your 
scraper. This is a brand new one I got um, this week from Amazon. So again, you can um, you can get it as well if you want. You will find it on my shop, Christina's Cuisine Shop. Uh, if you go on my website, um, so we will secure. Yeah, we will secure the cake on the stand first with a bit of buttercream. This is from two packs of fondant, yeah? It's not um, an easy task, uh, so you know. It has to be quite thick, otherwise it will break. Um, I've done a few tries already. Um, so now I'm doing a, a try so you can see. The cake is here, yeah? As you can see, um, the buttercream has set. So now I have to take it somehow and put it on the cake without breaking it basically yeah so you have to put a lot a lot of um a lot of um sugar underneath and then just pray for the best basically here we go so of course you can pull it while <laughs>
Okay guys, so I finished with the ladybug cake. I am very happy with it. I already showed it to to the boy's mum and Frankie's mum and she's very happy with it as well. Uh, she's just on her way to pick it up now. And um, the only thing I want to say is that fondant is tricky to work with. So if you do decide to make this cake, do it um, by all means. But be very, very careful and um, do practice a lot. Because it's, uh, it's quite tricky to, um, to get. Um, and other than that, um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy making it if you want to make it um here it is this is how it looks like uh very very pretty yeah happy birthday i call it a bit of a, a couple of balloons right there you can see my lady back she's right here she's smiling yeah uh this is the back again with the flowers so it looks um it looks quite professional um i'm i'm very happy with myself what can i say um but yeah um this is it Thank you so much for watching everyone and um, of course if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so the link will be somewhere on the screen uh, and remember to tap that bell and uh, that way you get notifications whenever we put a video up which is normally weekly uh, this particular video will probably be up by next week and um, that's uh, that's all for now signing out uh, take care of yourselves and remember go break an egg see you later bye bye